people of the tube and welcome to another video. Today is October 21st, 2015. What significance does that hold? Today is the day that Marty McFly and Dot Brown went to the future in Back to the Future Part 2. And I was going to do a review of Back to the Future Part 2. But guess what movie I don't have? Back to the Future Part 2. Or 1. Or 3. Because I've never got around to buying them. Which I probably should one of these days. But never did. Um, so instead, uh, let's talk about things that have come to pass. Um, when Marty McFly is talking to um, his co-worker on the TV, that's a lot like Skype. Whenever things voice activated, it's a lot like Siri. Uh, saying to turn the lights off, we have one of those. Flying cars we never hit. self and shoes. Um... We're almost to that. We're pretty close. Um, gasoline. Uh, instead you put trash into it and it turns it into fuel for your car. Governments don't want that shit, so you're never going to see that. Um, hoverboards. Well, there are hover cars. And some there are miniature hoverboards, which use, like, metal. So a lot of shit has come to pass. Oh, a lot of of prototypes for a lot of the stuff in the movie. And here we are. 2015, October 21st, and there you go. There we are, Back to the Future. Another future predicted movie down. 2001 did it, and all kinds of other sci-fi movies. The next one I'm pretty sure is um, Blade Runner. And uh, let's hope, because apparently in 2019 you can get a sex robot. So, who's exa almost exactly human, and you can't tell the difference. So let's hope that comes to pass, because I'm pretty sure every lonely fuck like us, movie collectors, are going to have a sex robot in our room. So, peace the fuck out, and enjoy. Happy uh, Back to the Future Part 2 Day, because this is the only time you'll ever get to celebrate it. Peace the fuck out.